<laughs> What's good y'all? My name's Ciara and this is Self Made Energy. What we want for nothing because we can manifest anything. This week I took two pair of jeans and made pure magic happen. Okay? Literally magic. You about to see. First of all, it's this cute little denim top that I've seen on Angela's channel. Blue pen DIY. You guys gotta check her channel out. It is literally stupid hot fire. Every time. If you're into making clothes, that's where you need to be because it's literally fire. But anyway, I also made a pair of jeans to match because I feel like if you're going to make a top, you need to make a bottom. If you're going to make a bottom, you need to make a top. If you're going to make a dress, then you need to make a purse. Like, you need to make an outfit, girl. What are you doing? Or at least that's just me. I'm extra like that. <laughs> but anyway, it's really been two weeks. Like, Corona had me really messed up like my needle broke and I could not find one like it took forever to find one thank god save -a -thon was open and I literally stood on that line for an hour and a half to get this needle I was not playing hour and a half outside like what's good I need a needle gotta get this project done <laughs> and I bought a whole bunch too we're not about to be doing that again thank you corona thank you Anyway, <laughs> I feel like I've been talking a whole lot, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> okay, you guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your base pair of jeans and open up the two outer seams. You can cut them open with a pair of scissors if you like, but I decided to seam rip them open because I wanted to keep as much fabric as possible just in case. Once you're done opening up the outer seams, you take your second pair of jeans and you're going to measure out how much you want to cut out. I decided to measure mine's cut out on the fold 2 inches, so that will actually equal 4 inches cut out. But you can measure out however much you like. It depends on your body measurements. You don't even have to cut out the outer seam. You can use a piece from the middle of the jeans if you like. I just wanted to line up my pocket seams and my waistband seams, so I used the outer seam. But you can literally use any piece that you want. It's your creation. Make it your own. Once you're done cutting out the pieces that you need, you're gonna take your base pair of jeans and pin them together, right sides together. And you're only going to want to pin down about 8 inches. You don't want to pin down the whole sides because you need to try them on first. And you cannot try them on with pins in it. Trust me, I tried and you will get stuck. So don't even waste your time. Just pin down the sides and make sure your hips and dips can fit it, okay? And as you're going to see in a second, I ended up having to sew my jeans still because I couldn't try them on I still got stuck so here I am sewing my jeans down that little eight inches just so I could try them on so you might want to do that part too depends on how much hips you have I don't even have hips so yeah you might just want to sew it first <laughs> Okay, once you've tried on your jeans and you've made sure they fit correctly, now you can turn them back inside out and finish pinning down the sides of the jeans. Make sure you pin them correctly because I definitely pinned mine a little bit janky because I was rushing and I ended up having to seam rip everything out. So make sure you take your time when you're pinning your jeans together don't rush if you rush you're gonna end up having to go back and take extra time that you don't have so take your time on this part okay a little time now will save you a lot of time later trust me once you're done pinning everything into place you're gonna head over to your sewing machine and sew all four edges down the entire length of the jeans it's gonna take some time and make sure you sew it straight and make sure you take into account if you want your jeans to be boot cut or pencil leg 
it's definitely gonna look different and this is the time to make those adjustments before you sew everything into place so make all your adjustments now So remember when I said I ended up having to seam rip the jeans open again? Yeah, here I am <laughs> seam ripping because I was rushing before and didn't take the time to measure out and pin my jeans correctly. So you're definitely going to want to do that so you don't have to waste all this extra time like me. But I definitely wanted to include the footage just so you could learn from my mistakes and not have to go back and forth like I did. <laughs> Once you're done sewing all the sides together, you're pretty much done with the jeans. There's nothing else that you really need to do. So you can just set them to the side and get ready to do the top. Ah, the top. Oh my god, this top. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is take your jeans and measure out all the pieces that you want to fit pretty much around your bra and you're gonna want to measure it out specifically which parts you want on the top which parts you want showing at the bottom it's really up to you it's like a cut and paste collage of jeans on your bra listen it's like deco art <laughs> it's really up to you the only thing that matters is that you're following the shape of the bra make sure you follow the shape and curves of your bra because if you don't it's definitely not gonna fit but you just take all your pieces that you cut out and decoupage together and pin them together don't pin them to the bra you're just using the bra for the shape pin them to each other around the bra also make sure when you're cutting out the pieces for the bra, you leave pieces for the back straps. And if you want straps for your shoulders as well, make sure you leave enough materials for that because you don't want to have the bra piece and then have no way to wrap it around you. So right here, I'm cutting out some pieces of the waistband that was left over to use for my back strap. And I wish I wouldn't have cut it in half, but again, I was rushing through this project and not really thinking about it, just trying to do it. So yeah, make sure you take your time when you're decoupaging your stuff together too. It is definitely a wonderful, creative, and expressive project, but make sure you're measuring things out as well, okay? <laughs> in order to get your back measurements, you're going to take your measuring tape and measure from under both arms around your back you don't want around your whole body you just want half so up under both arms and around your back and you're not going to want to try to use your bra straps because they're stretchy so when you put it on your bra stretches and it's not going to be long enough to fit around you so just take your measuring tape real quick and measure yourself it doesn't take that long it's real quick Once you're done pinning everything together, you're going to sew along all of your pins. Make sure you sew along all the pins. Don't leave anything out because the gaps and lumps and bumps will definitely show. So when you're sewing, make sure you're laying it flat and make sure you're stretching the material out as you sew. So it doesn't bust your seams when you try to put it on. Also, depending on where you place the pockets and stuff, you're going to want to sew the pockets closed because when you put it on, 
it might pop open and leave a gap that's not very flattering so just make sure you sew the pockets closed as well oh my god oh my god you guys so this top was just giving me so much grief like you don't even understand gravity and this top was not working with me today <laughs> so i ended up having to actually cut out the lining of my bra because it didn't fit it just would not fit this little bit of fabric was just not helping it was just horrible trust me it was horrible i'm not even going to show you how it looked because it looked really crazy but yeah i had to go back in and end up sewing in my actual bra lining so that's what you see me doing here and that actually helped i still had to end up sewing elastic as straps because it was still falling down but you know what this this top was not made for people my size i get it i get it it was still cute and i loved it but you know what this wasn't for me 